guys, welcome back to Inside the Hem. May is over. May is one of my favorite months. Um, so I'm sad to see it go. Wait, why is that? Because it's your birthday? Well, a couple different things. It is my birthday in May. Um, it's the last month before I get out for the summer, so it's always, you know, really exciting throughout the month that you know you got a couple more weeks left, so that makes it special. It's spring, flowers are blooming, the weather is usually always perfect. That's yeah, true. Not too hot, not too cold. So I'm sad to see it go, but that means we're here with you sharing our things that we've been loving for the month of May. Yep. So, how would you get started? So, you may have seen in a previous video I did an unboxing, but my absolute most favorite thing for May, excuse me, we're filming, <laughs> um, is my new sewing machine! Woo! Yay! <laughs> So if you don't know, I'm going to give you the backstory really quickly. Basically, when I decided that I was going to take a sewing class, I went and did one basic class and knew instantly that this was something that I was really going to love. So drove to Walmart, picked up a sewing machine. I want to say it was like 125, 150 range. Took the box with the sewing machine in it. Didn't even open it back to the, back to the um, place where I took the classes and said, help me learn how to use this. And then I used that machine, that same machine for four years. I sewed absolutely everything on it from jackets to jeans to bathing suits and everything else. So it was really time for an upgrade. Definitely. And well so, deserved. yes. And so <laughs> that old machine was like a project runway. I think it's CW, like 1100 CW or something like that. Um, and this one is uh, one of the Laura Ashley editions. Um, has tons of new bells and whistles. My two favorites though, um, I could probably talk about all my favorites for much longer than this video <laughs> will go on, but um, my two favorite things are the automatic thread snips. Um, I really just don't know how I did it any other way, pulling the threads and snipping yeah. them. And they, it just seemed messier. Uh -huh. I don't have like a lot of threads laying around. I keep like a little bowl for my threads and that it even doesn't fill up that much anymore mm -hmm. um and then also it has a knee lift which if you don't know it's like this arm that extends out of the machine and you push your knee to the side and it lifts the presser foot um so you don't have to reach your hand under the machine because who does that anymore mm -hmm. like that's so <laughs> much work to reach your hand under there and lift it manually yeah. when you can just do it with your knee so if you're looking for a new sewing machine those are two of my favorite features mm -hmm. Um, but there's like a ton, ton more. So awesome. yeah, new sewing machine. You've been sewing up a storm with it too lately. I, I mean, it really <laughs> is. It's not that it's so much more of an enjoyable experience. It's always enjoyable sewing, but it's a lot more satisfying. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting better results, which is always motivating to, to do more. Awesome. So what I have to share with you is something I got for my birthday. This is a diffuser. And I know I've shared with you guys before that I like to light a candle when I'm sewing because usually when I'm sewing, I'm in it for a while. So I really like to set the mood, get a candle going, you know, find something on the TV to have in the background. So um, I decided to try a diffuser um, and I'm really, really enjoying this. It's a lot safer than a candle because, um, well, it's safe to begin with because <laughs> there's no fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> uh, but it also shuts off after six hours, which is really, really nice. So, you know, you might leave your room and kind of forget about it, but it'll shut off. Um, but even if it is left on, if it didn't have that feature, it's, it's safe. Um, mine also has an automatic shut off when it runs out of water, so it'll just shut itself off. So I'm really liking this one. Um, I did get some oils to try um, that I'll share with you today. So I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Veriditas. Veriditas. Veriditas Botanicals. And what I really love about this brand is they are USDA organic. So I think that is really awesome. You know, you're diffusing a, a product that you're breathing in, your skin is absorbing it. Um, so a safer um, product, I think it just, it just makes it that much, much better, more enjoyable, knowing that I'm breathing in something good. Um, so I got a few different scents to try. The first one is Ylang Ylang. And it is a really pretty kind of floral scent. So if you're not into florals, I am obsessed with florals. Um, but it kind of smells similar to like a jasmine. It's I think it smells very, a lot like very jasmine. Very fragrant. Yes, it does. It smells very similar um, to jasmine. We have jasmine growing here. So yeah. um, I really like this one. But like I said, I like florals. So this one is all me. Um, the next one I got is rose geranium, which is uh, smells good. But it also is 
very kind of kind of a spicy rose. It does. Yeah, the spicy, spicy floral. Rose. Um, but you can also put a couple drop of, drops of this on your dog's collar, and it's supposed to help repel fleas and ticks. Nice. So Piper, she's funny oh about God. scents, and she doesn't seem to be adverse to this scent. So I'm getting ready to go back to my parents who live in the mountains, and it's like tick crazy there. Mm -hmm. So I'll be excited to see if that helps. And then the last one I got um, is Stress Recovery. Um, when I first got the diffuser, I thought I would use this in my bedroom, but it's kind of bothering me. So I'm kind of happy that I've got it in my sewing room. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper. Funny noises kind of wake mm -hmm. me up. So that's why I thought stress recovery would be good mm -hmm. for sleeping. But sometimes sewing can be stressful if a project's not going the way you want it to. So I got this one. I can't really pinpoint a set on that it's one. Lavender. lavender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lavender. So anyways... Yeah, and these ones are usually a blend. So this one yeah. is lavender, bergamot, clary sage, sweet marjoram, and rose geranium. And it's very, I feel a lot less stressed all of a sudden. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll link where I got this one below if you guys are interested in um, adding one to your sewing room. Yeah, totally. Okay, so this one is going to look a little weird probably at first. Um, this is a Stadler bendable or moldable ruler. Um, I actually found it at Staples in like this section. Yeah, I guess architects, architects use it to make like archways. Is that what it looks like to you? <laughs> um, actually, this is my crotch curve. We're about, this is a little bit personal, but um, <laughs> I've seen where people have been using these to mold out their crotch curve to kind of check do some checks and balances on the pattern that they're sewing and if you can see mine and this is like a couple inches below my belly button and this is my lower back um so i did this over jeans so maybe it wasn't the most accurate <laughs> but still i mean if you imagine the front of a pair of pants or shorts i don't know anything that swings out quite that much yeah and then if you look at the back side I mean, I don't know that you would find a, a back pattern piece that shape was shaped like that either. And it makes sense. I mean, nobody's crotches are mm -hmm. universal. It's not like a sleeve or a side seam where everybody's going to be the same. Mm -hmm. These are very specific. And that's why so many people struggle making pants and shorts because the crotch really can pull on different things mm -hmm. and y you don't even realize that it's the crotch that's doing it. So um, I've been working on a pants sloper for a few months now, just making little tweaks here and there. Um, and so I wanted to try this out to see if the measurements I was taking and the sloper I was making was getting close. So if you were looking at making any pants or shorts this summer, I would go pick up one of these. I want to say it was like less than $10. So um, bendable, moldable, crotch curve. Very cool. Yep. You need to find some other ways to use that. I'm interested to see. Oh, I did think of one. How about a bracelet? <laughs> a ruler bracelet. I awesome. think that would be really cute. That would um, be cute. I think that this is going to be all the rage on the runways this fall. <laughs> um, and here you go. I can get it on. Cute. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I have to share with you is a pattern. Um, I actually printed this out last year, but just never sewed it up. And then I was looking for something to sew and I pulled it out. Um, anytime I'm sewing something, I like to do a Google image search just mm -hmm. to see what other people have made, what kind of fabrics they're using. Mm -hmm. So I did that and I saw um, some really cute versions. So I decided to give this pattern a try. It is the Tape Top by Workroom Social. Um, it's a free pattern. Even better, right? Yay. It's a free pattern. Um, but it has, I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's a higher neckline racer back. Um, and it's got these really cute darts in the front that I think just really add a little something to it. Totally. And then racer back, perfect for summer. Um, the there's there's no directions that come with this pattern, so I do want to warn you of that. It's I think it was she created it for maybe a workshop she did oh. at her, uh, I think she owns a shop. Um, that I don't know sense. her name. I feel bad I don't know her name. She's oh. real pretty brown hair, girl. <laughs> um, but she she's in New York City, I believe, or right around New York City. Um, but if you have sewn any tank top pattern, you can figure this out. It's so simple. Shoulder seams, side seams, it's and easy. you do the fake, the body state. Well, and she has, um, calls for a zipper. I omitted the zipper and did a keyhole, um, which was so simple. Made it even quicker, keyhole, um, and did a little hook and eye closure. So, um, since I 
decided to sew up this pattern I've made four. <laughs> <laughs> really, really loving it. Um, I fits perfectly. I think I sewed up, I want to say a four. I'll check on that for you guys and I'll reference my um, size measurements for you, but it just comes together so quickly. I actually, this one is out of a really kind of heavy, I think it's a cotton dobby. Um, With no, no stretch. No stretch. Yeah. And it's a boxy fabric that I had no idea what it was going to do with, but mm -hmm. it actually turned out really, really cute. So um, I have made four, but each one's different, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll share those with you. Um, but I've lengthened it to make a dress. Um, that turned out adorable. I combined it with the Chisuti Patterns Lisa dress to make this peplum with it. That was super cute. I even made a crop top, which that's part of her pattern. That was no change, um, which it's my first crop top. Lindsay says I can pull it off. I'm a little nervous. She totally but... <laughs> came out cute. It's and not like crop up to no, here. No, no, no. It's not a very modest to crop. It's like <laughs> it falls right at the waistline or like the top of. So depending on the rise of your jeans, it's it's fine. Yes, but I also um, when I Google image searched the pattern, somebody had done the uh, super crop, but a really really high waisted skirt with mm. it. So cute. I would love to do that. Um, yeah, this little like inch of skin is probably the most flattering part on me personally. <laughs> so yeah, I should probably try to show. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, obviously I'm loving this pattern. I actually have another one I want to make. I want to turn it into a swing crop top. So I'm going to slash and spread it. I saw one on Anthropology, oh, like identical to this pattern, but they, they made it swingy out of flowy fabric. Do you have so. seam work? The, do you have a seam work subscription? Mm -hmm. They teach you how to do the slash and spread. I'll have to look into that. I but think Megan Nielsen think Patterns also did a tutorial for her on how to do top it. On how to do yeah, it. I want to say the seam work one though is from a pattern. So they give you alterations to make to an existing pattern and that pattern has side busters, which mm -hmm. this one doesn't have. So I don't know how that would change things or not. I don't know. I don't know either. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah. <laughs> Seems pretty that. easy to figure out. You do that. Well, it's cute. It's really, really adorable. Thanks. And I can see all the other versions, and they really do look totally different. And yes. you can wear this almost year-round. Mm -hmm. Just put a cardigan over top. I mean, maybe sure. not electric pink. It would well, be yeah. weird. Well, but... although in Charleston, that's bright true. colors. That's true. You, you see a lot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so the last one that I have is actually an edible, because who doesn't need a snack whenever they're sewing? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I just sort of forget to eat. Yeah, and, and then, then all you'll be like sudden, starving, but you don't want to cook something because you don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah, and I also sew in my kitchen. So in order to cook something, I have to clean everything mm -hmm. up, and it's just this huge ordeal. Anyway, so snacking happens a lot, and I found this really cool, delicious popcorn. It's by Quinn Popcorn. And it is, let's see, non-GMO. It is, I want to say, hmm, maybe that's it, just no GMOs. Well, I mean, popcorn in and of itself doesn't have gluten in it. Um, certified Some organic. certified organic ingredients. The popcorn, the popcorn kernels, which is the biggest which is, thing. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only other ingredients in here are high oleic. Oleic, I think. Oleic? I don't even know what that means. Sure. High oleic <laughs> sunflower oil, which sunflower oil is better for you mm -hmm. than a lot of other oils. It's not hydrogenated or any of that kind of stuff. Not um, artery clogging mm -hmm. oil. Um, maple sugar, which I mean, yeah. doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> and sea salt. Delicious. So yeah, it has pretty um, clean ingredients sort of, depending on what clean means to you, um, non-GMO organic. Anyways, I think it's great because maple sugar, um, it's not refined, refined sugar, so right. that's great. Yeah, exactly. And it's maple. a very healthy alternative yeah, to some it's other like things. A natural recurring thing. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so it's interesting because it actually comes in, in separate parts. So you have your traditional microwave popping bag, which by the way, has no chemical or plastic coating, which again, the popcorn would just absorb whatever's in the yeah. bag that you're popping it in. So you have to be leery of that as well. But you can hear all the, they're very loose. They're not stuck together with like some weird butter concoction. You know what I mean? They're just all totally loose. And then you get a separate little container of the oil that you pour on after it's popped. And then this is the maple sugar and salt that you pour on yeah. after you put the oil on to help it all stick. Yeah. And it really is delicious if you're into like sweet and salty, Last if you're into salty. kettle corn, mm -hmm. um, this is a very easy, you know, sideways lateral move over to that. 
And so yeah, I feel good about snacking and um, I just, I, it's just delicious on top of everything else. Yeah. Quinn popcorn. As soon as this video is over, I'm <laughs> making her make me her last bag. <laughs> you only get two for oh, the box. Yeah. So it is a bit pricey. I want to say this was like four or five dollars for two, but. Sounds about right for Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, did you hear all those wonderful things? Yeah. No preservatives, gluten free, whatever PFOAs are, those are left out. <laughs> You would think with all these things being gone, it would be cheaper. Just kidding. It's much more expensive to be more natural. So, Okay, so my last item is what I love to use for tracing paper. So obviously with those four tapes that I've made, I uh, use a lot of tracing paper. I like to go ahead when I'm, you know, hacking a pattern, mining patterns, I go ahead and trace it and get it all together. Um, if I like it, then it's, you know, already ready to go so I can make it again. Um, so I've used a lot of paper. We've also been doing some pattern testing for Indie So. Mm -hmm. They have a, a collection coming up that we'll be sharing with you guys pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the paper that they use when you go to the doctor's office, but they cover their um, exam and tables. tables. <laughs> um, so I really like this because it and is super, show. super cheap. How sheer it is. Tracing. I don't know if that'll show up for you guys or not, but <laughs> it's really like um, what you get when you buy an envelope pattern. It's a little yeah. a little thicker, and it's like coated. Yeah. Um. So, guys, I bought this roll. I would say maybe a year ago. Yes, it was a year ago. Um. And I remember when I heard the person that recommended this. They're like, "This will last you a lifetime." So much. I mean, there is a lot on here, but I do a lot of tracing. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost out. I'm going to repurchase some more. It's so cheap. It's like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it for you below. But I also like um, that it is so thin because with my four tapes, I'm going to fold them back up and put them all together, and it's not huge bulky. I know a lot of people use freezer paper. That stuff drives me crazy. It rolls terribly, always rolling, no matter if you press it or not. And it's so bulky, it takes up so much space. A lot of people use Swedish tracing paper, which I do love, and I will use, so I, you know, I bought a, the Alder paper pattern, and the, it's a pricier pattern, so I went ahead and traced that on um, tracing paper, good quality Swedish tracing paper, because I know I'll be using it over and over again. But if I'm just playing around, coming up with these different tapes, I'm just using cheap stuff. Swedish tracing paper would be way too much money for me for all of the tracing I do. So, highly rec recommend getting some of this. Perfect. Yeah. Well, that's it. Those are our favorites for the month of May. Um, so if you are interested in purchasing any of the items that we have mentioned today, I feel like I'm in a infomercial <laughs> all of a sudden just like turn into QVC. Um, no, we have all the links below. So if you want to look into them and, and get more information about what we were talking about today and see if it would work for you, all of those links are going to be down below. Um, and I guess we will see you guys next time. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and thought that it was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Um, also, please subscribe to the video. There should be a little like watermark, I think in the bottom left, wait, I don't know where I'm pointing. I think <laughs> I it's know. gonna be down here on your screen, like the bottom right of your screen. Maybe not. Look on the screen and see if there's a little watermark somewhere that says subscribe. I set that up about a month ago. Um, if not, then it will be underneath where the um, video plays. Leave us a comment and let us know what you are loving in May. We always, always love trying new things. So if you mention something and we haven't tried it before, it may get featured in our June favorites. Yes. Who knows? And we'd love to give whoever suggests that, a uh, big shout out. So feel free to comment away in the comment box below and then follow us on mm -hmm. social. You can see a lot of the projects that we're making mm -hmm. and you can also um, see when we upload new videos or when we're working on new videos and things like that. We are mm -hmm. at Inside the Hem everywhere. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. and YouTube. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.